Finally, the PSEI broke through the 6,800 level resistance. And just like that, the US bouncing back for its best week of the year so far after economic news pointing to a higher likelihood of a soft landing. What's next for the market? And is it too late to join the rally? Let's discuss. My name is Dan Slim and welcome to another episode of Monday Market Outlook. The BSP finally confirmed last Thursday reducing rates by 25 basis points to put interest rates at 6.25. The market still pricing in one more rate cut this year. Will it be in October or will it be in December? The next inflation read will be on September 5 and unemployment numbers will be on September 6. So we'll get a better sense after we see those numbers. Meanwhile, the market welcomed the news with a strong rally to end the week, finally breaching 6,800 critical zone to put us on track to 7,000 if this rally continues. Let's look at the index movers. ICT still no signs of weakness, pulling the index up by a commanding 39.45 points with Ali a far second with 14 points. We have Meralco, BPI, BDO, and SM joining the party. For the index losers, we have URC and Bloomberry both reporting bad numbers lagging behind. Now let's look at the weekly heat maps for the Philippine markets. You know the rally has legs when you see blue chip names leading it mostly green across the board with ICT an 11% game we have here converge with a 20% surge last week. Now let's zoom out to the three month performance of our select stocks. If you were holding plus and converge last week's rally puts converge at the top of our list with a 54% gain in the past three months. Looking closely at the winners, obviously the anticipated rate cuts already had investors positioning on real estate stocks. See here we have Ali, AREIT, SMPH with RCR as the winners with the banking stocks lagging behind. Now if you've been following the channel and have adjusted your portfolio to be overweight on real estate stocks, then you should be seeing big gains right now. Back to the PSEI, the index broke through 6,800 ending the week at 6,847. This is a critical area here. A couple of resistances here. We have the horizontal line resistance and the downtrend line resistance. And unlike last month where these levels were strongly rejected, this time around we convincingly broke through this range. Now hopefully we can see a follow through rally to confirm the breakout. Now we've discussed in previous episodes how the market needed to pull back either to the 65 or 6400 zone to gain buyers and make another attempt at 68 and you know what I guess the flash correction here gave the market the window of opportunity to bring the bulls back into the game and as of now it seems like the ghost month may have ghosted the markets after all. But we'll see, right? We still have two weeks to go. Last time we hit these levels, the oscillators were showing a bit of weakness. This time we have a bullish crossover here and RSI not yet overbought. Next levels to watch out for, we have 7,000, we have 7,135 and 7,000. 250. Now looking at the chart patterns here, this could be a head and shoulders formation, right? If so, we could see the markets, right? Surging up to, right? 7,250. So we see a bit of a confluence on these levels. Some say this looks like the beginnings of an Elliott impulse wave. If so, this would be wave one, wave two retracement, wave three, could be here at 7,100, a pullback to 6.8, and then finally a wave 5 here at 7,250. Does make sense. So this week, markets may consolidate to digest its gains and best case, a rally towards 7,000 or 7,150, and then a pullback here could give an opportunity for buyers to come in. Now let's look at some individual stocks here. We have AC close to its 630 resistance. Let's see if it breaks through here. We have SM 
right at the 61.8 Fibonacci resistance here. If the PSEI is going to rally to 7,000, SM should be the one to lead it. Watch reaction here at 61.8 Fib. I'm betting on the upside for SM to reach around 960. GT cap continuing towards 650. It's in the middle of nowhere. Watch out for its reaction there. Of course, a real estate stocks alley breaking out of this resistance level. Wait for a pullback here. SMPH countering resistance here. Maybe a small pullback to around 29.50 could be a good chance to buy or let's see if it pulls away this week towards 31.80. REITs are flying. We have A REIT, RCR, and especially C REIT. Congratulations if you are holding C REIT. Banks, of course, taking a back seat after the BSP rate announcement. Consumer stocks, nice breakout for JFC. It's at a resistance level here. It might pull back to 240 and hopefully continue back to 269 monde stuck in limbo let's see what happens here let's look at converge right look at that parabolic move i mentioned last week to buy on pullback at 1090 but i guess that ship has sailed let's see if we can pull back to 1160 and it would be a good point probably to buy back on converge now while a lot of stocks are already flying mwc manila water is one of the stocks we could probably pick up at this point the setup here still looking good i've set an alert here at 25 we'll probably buy some more at this point now so at this juncture i've locked in some gains on issues that are a bit overstretched no especially if they are non-index one of them plus i top slice my plus position it's going to correct soon there's always an opportunity to buy back in the next few months Miralco, I'm seeing if it can reach 430s. Top slice a bit of Miralco here. ASEN also, 581. A good chance to top slice a bit. Let's see if it manages to pull back to 520 or 5 pesos. Also, lighten my positions on Converge. Maybe around 15 to 25%, right? So, remember, lock in some gains after a strong market rally, especially when we're hitting some key levels. And if you see some stocks overstretch like this right so let's look at what's happening in the global markets the u.s economy back into bullish territory after a succession of good economic numbers flooded the news last week inflation came in at 2.9 percent first time dipping below three percent then the producer price index rising less than forecasted puts the fed into a more comfortable position to cut rates this September and the urgency to cut rates by 50 basis points drastically down after jobs numbers show that the labor market wasn't as bad as advertised during the flash correction panic. Then on Thursday, retail numbers accelerated to 1% on a month-on-month -month basis, which is much better than the point three expectation. So at this point, the market's already pricing in a sure rate cut in September with again a 72.5% chance of a 25 basis point rate cut instead of the panic 50 basis point rate cut. And as we near the September announcement, things are looking more and more like we are headed towards a soft landing. And that would be the scenario here. What do we get before the actual rate cut? We do get a correction coming in to the Fed rate cut, a consolidation here for a few weeks, and then a continuation of the rally well into 2025 hopefully the fed just cuts rate by 25 basis points because a 50 basis point rate cut again will show panic mode for the feds and we might lead into this scenario if a 50 basis point rate cut happens now let's look at the s p 500 charts the index secured its best week of the year reversing the august 5 sell-off since then, the S&P 500 has added $4 trillion in market cap, completing a roller coaster ride for all indices. Now, we are currently at a strong resistance point and the markets are probably experiencing a short squeeze right now. If we look at the SPY here, we can see a couple of gaps formed from last week's rally. We've already filled this gap, so we have another gap at 535 and 544 that we may need to fill 
in the next few weeks. We still have an unfilled gap here at 562. So it makes sense for the S&P 500 to actually pull back either to 544 or 535 and hopefully bounce off of those levels and continue the rally. So going back to the S&P 500, we've already filled this gap. We have one at 535, which corresponds to the support level here. And we form another gap here at 544. Coming into this week, a possibility for a short squeeze because this is a critical resistance area and there may be shorts here expecting the markets to pull back. Now it will pull back, but not before a short squeeze could happen and trigger their stop losses, filling the gap here, maybe even reaching our weekly level here before correcting back into 544 or 535. And of course, best case scenario would be a bounce back towards 563. So we'll see. In the meantime, you know, market rallies like this, make sure to lock in some gains, treat yourself to a nice dinner, enjoy the rally while it lasts. Please like this video if you found the information useful. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates and good luck on your trades. Manage your risk accordingly. Enjoy your gains and I'll see you again next week.